All right, YouTube, let's take a look at the latest. Uh, this is the latest little toy I got to play with. Not a gun. Now, actually, I do have a couple of guns uh, that you haven't seen uh, that I got since last time I was here. I got some range footage on them. I put together some reviews and I'll show you, but this is a bow, compound bow. Uh, I'll talk about it a little bit more. Right now, I'm just going to shoot it. I've never shot one of these before, except for when I bought this, practicing with it uh, to get it sighted in at the shop. Um, so we're going to go out and have a little bit of fun with it. I got it because where I'm at now, where we moved to, now we got some space, a little bit of land, plenty of deer on it, um, and I can hunt here. It's not big enough to rifle hunt, and I can't shotgun hunt either, um, but it is big enough to bow hunt. And so I'm going to hunt for the first time in my life on my own land as opposed to going to public lands with my rifle. I'm going to do that in about a month when bow season opens, a month and a week. Uh, so I got to do a whole lot of practice between now and then. Got the target set up, reposition the camera, I'll be right back. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is sight this in. Um, like I said, I just got it. Uh, I toyed around with it at the shop where I bought it from, at the Bass Pro. Um, and they set it up for me and sight it in as best you can at the shop, just, you know, whatever, but then I've got to come and do it at 20 yards. So I'm doing the top dot. I'm going to do 20, uh, 30, and 40, I believe. Um, and hopefully I'll be, be able to get good enough at this in the next month to do something with it. Uh, but this is the first time I've shot it outside. My technique is poor because I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but in the next month or so, I'm confident that I'll figure it out. All right, that's left. But it is center vertically, but it's far left. We'll take a look at these in a minute. If you remember, about a year or two ago, I ended up doing a, uh, I did a video on the bow I got. I did a video on the bow I got uh, that was a recurve bow. Really fun bow to shoot. I haven't shot that bow that much. Um, I'm not going to hunt with it, obviously, because it's, if you know anything about those, they're really hard to hunt with. Uh, you got to be really, really good um, for some reasons that I pointed out on that video. So I'm definitely going constantly left. So I haven't hunted with that with that uh, bow, but I am going to have some fun with it. Now that I'm out here, I haven't really shot it that much, to be honest with you. I haven't shot it that much just because of the setup at the house where I was at. I would have to take it somewhere else besides the backyard to really shoot it like I wanted to. So I'm definitely left. Um, and I gotta remember how the dude told me to adjust it because I don't remember. I'm sure I can find it on YouTube though. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look if I can aim the damn camera, right? The hell are you doing, son? Jesus Christ! I act like something's wrong with me. All right, there we go. So you see, they're all on the left, uh, left low, left low. Uh, I got one at center. Let's grab these arrows. So this is a this is a blackout bow by the way. Uh, max draw weight on this is 70 pounds. I've got it set up at about 59 right now. That's weight low. Weight low. 
I got it set up at about 69. Uh, I need to tighten up these shot groups too, even though they are, they're all low and left, they're not close enough. What the guy at the shop told me was I gotta get used to loosening my left-handed grip, which is just uh, kind of not instinctive for me. I tend to treat this more like I would a firearm. You know, it just occurred to me. I told you I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It just occurred to me I haven't been using the sights right. I haven't been using the peephole. I've just been looking through at the dot. So I just use the peephole and I'm actually shooting center and left. I'm sorry, I'm in center and right. And I just almost got a bullseye on that one. So I think I might be a little bit closer than it was looking like I was in terms of the adjustments I need to make. I know we had it pretty good at the store. Yeah, all right, that's better you two. Let's take a look. The last two is better, that's what I'm talking about. I right, see the first two are down there, low left. That's when I still wasn't using the peephole. And then you see I came up, that one all the way on the right was the first one I used the peephole. Those last two, uh, one in the red, one in the yellow, that was four and five respectively. Actually, the, the four was the yellow, then the red. All right. All right, so I think I'm really gonna enjoy this. Um, everybody's told me deer hunting with a bow is the way to go. Like, you'll never go back to rifle hunting. I don't know if that's gonna be true for me. I'm certain I'm going to rifle hunt, but I just like the way this feels. Um, I love that recurve bow, but it's not something that I would, I would hunt with, obviously, uh, just because you can't hold it, you can't aim for a long time, you use two hours, it's kind of quick. Uh, like I said, I think you really got to get proficient, probably shoot those for years before you can effectively hunt with them. Um, I started saying about this bow, it's a 70 pound bow. I've got it set up at about 59 pounds. Um, and that's just because I want to get some muscle memory and some technique straight before I increase it uh, over the next couple of weeks as I practice and get that muscle memory down and get my, my technique right. Like you can see, I'm not lining up a lot of times on my cheekbone like I'm supposed to. I didn't have my nose on the string like I'm supposed to. So once that stuff uh, comes natural to me, I'm gonna crank it up. By hunting season, I wanna have it up to uh, 65. That's what I wanna hunt at this year. And then by next year, I'll be able to have it up to the maximum of 70 uh, and be comfortable shooting. Um, let's go get the arrows. Passes like them, bruh. All right, I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna do some more of this, actually. I'm gonna stop the camera for right now. Right now. Uh, but I'm gonna talk to you about the bow a little bit more in a little bit. Uh, my son is over here. My son, he's not my son. My grandson is over here playing in the pool. His little baby pool. My little man. That's my little grandpa. That's my little grandpa. Hey, little grandpa. Hey, little grandpa. All right, you two. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I really enjoyed shooting um, on that first day. Uh, that was a couple of days ago, and I was just uh, I told you I was going to get back and do a little clip for you just with the bow. I, I don't have a lot to say. I don't know much about these, so it's not a lot of talking for me to do. Just a couple of things I was going to point out about what I was doing. Um, one, I wasn't using this little strap that you can use to, when you hold it, uh, to put your hand in there. I, you know, I could do with or without it, um, probably without it more often than not. Um, you also notice that I was shooting, uh, never, well, I was shooting with a glove one, uh, and I'm just using a mechanics glove. Um, if any of you are into, you know, tactical gloves and things, that, Mechanics gloves actually work really good for them. You don't necessarily have to go to a, you know, 
law enforcement supply shop or whatever, or, you know, your honey shop to get them. Um, they work. Uh, I shoot with them a lot with firearms. Well, I like to shoot with them with firearms. Most of the time I shoot with firearms. I don't use them just because uh, in a practical setting, I'm not going to have a glove on the fact that, you know, had to use a firearm to, uh, in, the, in a self-defense setting, I'm not going to be wearing a glove, in other words. Not in my house in the middle of the night, not if I'm out using a concealed carry. I'm not going to have on a tactical glove or a shooting glove. Uh, and so I have to practice, you know, in the way that I'm actually going to be using the firearm. With that said, I like the feel of them, so I do, when I'm just having fun, uh, I do a lot of shooting with them also. But I like the way it feels with this bow. And I am going to be using that glove every time I use this bow. I'm not going to have to pull this out in the middle of the night if I find the intruder, so. Uh, that's not going to be an issue. I will use it. I only use the left-handed one, but I just like the way it feels on this grip. The bow is really nice. It is light. Uh, I don't know the ways. I don't know if it's light for a bow, but it feels good. Uh, the, it came with the arrow holder already attached, and it's adjustable. You can slide up and down so that it fits right in with the, with the you know, bow so you don't have arrows hanging over the sides, the ends. Uh, this is a dual cam um, bow. Uh, as I told you, it's set up at 59 pounds. Um, the guy was supposed to change this to me. It was 59 off the shelf. He was supposed to change it to 62 before I left the shop. Uh, we started talking about hunting and got carried away. And I was there for a while after I bought the bow and he had set it up. And, and we forgot to go back and do the last change. So, but like I was telling you, I want to get it up to 65 before I hunt with it. Um, and that's what I'll hunt with it on this year. And he showed me how to crank it up. I don't have the thing to measure it though. So at some point, I'll go back there and measure it for me and make sure I got it where I want it to be. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I, I really like shooting. I mean, I, I was, I'm going to show you. In fact, let's take a look at it right now. A clip of, um, I shot a couple more rounds after what you just saw. Uh, and let me show you what I did with it. Take a look. All right, so as you see, it was an incredible uh, in improvement for what I was initially doing the very first set. Um, and you notice how quickly and rapidly I fired those two, kind of like the arrow, right? You know better than that, but anyway, it was a decent shot group. So within the next week or so, um, I'll be able to be very comfortable at 20 yards and I'll move out, you know, I'll have a good time. and I think I'll be ready by the time uh, it's hunting season. Um, I did go out the next day. I shot some even tighter groups that were better, but just as you do when you start, get out of there, you're up. Just as you do when you start uh, doing something new, you make mistakes. Uh, and that time I was getting tighter groups, but they were all to the right. That wasn't hitting the bullseye. I was all the way on the edge of the target. But they were, so I was, whatever I was doing wrong, I was consistently doing it wrong. I was doing the same thing. So I just got to figure out what that is and stop doing it. And that should move my groups back to the left where they're supposed to be, but then keep them tight, hopefully. Uh, but that's the fun of it. Uh, last thing I'll say about it, <clears throat> the, the, what I enjoy about this, I frankly find uh, you know, it, it's not unlike shooting a firearm. You know, the gross mechanics are very, very different, obviously. Uh, you know, the biomechanics and discharging a bow versus discharging a firearm are very different. Um, you know, the, the, all of the gross mechanics of it are very different, yes. But some of the finer points of the shooting, some of the finer mechanics are the same. Uh, you know, the very remarkable similarities in, in controlling your breath. Uh, and controlling uh, muscle relaxation, uh, you know, um, trigger control even with this this thing that they use nowadays that I'm just learning about that actually uh, instead of pulling with your fingers, you know, the little trigger you got, um, you know, so, so trigger control, not jerking, um, you know, uh, the, sight, the, the sighting process. A lot of it is really simple and I, you know, I enjoy it. So I like this thing, man. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I thank you for watching as always. And like I said with my first cooking video since I've been back, it's good to be back. I got a couple nice guns I'm going to show y'all in the next week or so. Uh, I, got some, I got some shit you're going to enjoy. All right? All right, peace.